LED lighting has come a long way over the past few years. We've seen continued refinement, which has brought us brighter and more color accurate lights. Well, today we are going to be taking a look at a fixture that is trying to bring improved color fidelity to a whole new price point. This is the ProLight Orion 300, an LED spotlight that uses an array of red, green, blue, amber, cyan, and lime LEDs to produce some fantastic light. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at why RGB ACL is great, what it means when lighting real world objects, how it compares to a couple of other fixtures, how to accessorize it, as well as some background about ProLight and the Orion 300. This unit we have with us here is a full production unit. So it's technically a Mark II, as it has seen some hardware and software improvements since the original that you may have seen other reviewers take a look at already. The Orion 300 uses a combination of red, green, blue, amber, cyan, and lime LEDs. So no white LEDs like other RGB or regular fixtures on the market. So instead of relying on these white LEDs to produce their white light, ProLight combines the six channels together to form white. This is similar to the technique that Ari have used with the Orbiter, and ProLight have claimed that using this combination of LEDs allows the light to reproduce a much higher quality white light than other fixtures on the market, because you have greater control over the spectrum of the light being projected. We won't be going super in depth into the science behind this, but if you want to learn more about this, I've put some really good resources in the description below. Really, what it comes down to though, is that this light is aiming to allow you and your camera to capture an image as close to what you see in front of you with your eyes as possible without any weird or incorrect colors. We haven't seen many other fixtures like this at this price point because designing a light like this is very difficult. RGB panel lights are now a dime a dozen because they are much easier to design because of how spaced out the LEDs can be. This makes not only heat management of the LEDs easier, but it also allows more LEDs to be used, which helps cancel color shifts out of each other. So with a COB fixture, which has less LEDs that are much closer together, this means that both of these factors are harder to manage on COB lights. Taking this into account, it's pretty impressive what ProLight have achieved here, especially for its reasonable asking price given its place in the market. There are already some solid resources online showing how fantastic the Orion 300 is when it comes to its quality of white light. But these are with early units, so I wanted to check our full retail units to see how they perform. We also wanted to include some other fixtures in these tests, but comparing the Orion 300 to other lights is actually quite challenging as there aren't actually many fixtures on the market like it. I think really the only light we can compare it to performance wise is the Ari Orbiter, which when accessorized similar to the Orion 300 is much, much more expensive. With the similarities between the Orion and Aperture's fixtures, people will be comparing them to the likes of the 300X, which is similar in output, and the 600D Pro, which is similar in price as well. The first test we ran was testing the output accuracy throughout the fixtures output range. This range was from 0.01 all the way up to 100% in a few different increments. All fixtures have their dimming curve set to linear here, and we're giving them roughly 10 minutes to warm up. We then tracked the CCT, tint, delta UV, and lux using our Sekonic C800 at both 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin. This was the first time I've actually ever used the Orbiter, and it is a seriously impressive fixture in so many ways. But given its very high price point, this should be no surprise. But how close can the Pro Light get to it? Well, Looking at 3200 Kelvin across both lights, we can see that the Orbiter is far more consistent when it comes to the CCT across its dimming range, but both have great delta UV performance and a consistent tint offset. This is the same story at 5600 Kelvin, but the Pro Light has slightly better tint bias and delta UV performance. Though the Orbiter's tint bias is easy to adjust out, as it's pretty consistent at both 32 and 5600 Kelvin, at which point you can get a very, very accurate light. The ProLight CCT is out at both 32 and 5600 Kelvin, but adjusting this by a few hundred Kelvin corrects this, and once corrected, you again have a very accurate light. One thing we noticed with the ProLight was how the light shifts at lower percentages. You can see this at around 5 to 1% that the readings are getting pretty bad. This doesn't occur with the Orbiter, and hopefully this is something that ProLight can fix with future firmware. The 600D Pro does a decent job given that it's a daylight fixture, but it will still need some gels if you want a more accurate light. I do wish we had a 300X to use for this comparison, as I think it would be a much better fixture to compare the Orion to. We also noticed that when metering at the edge of the beam angle of the Orion, that the light was far more accurate than in the center, which was quite bizarre. 
The benefit of the Orion 300 and Orbiter over fixtures like the 600D Pro is the ability for them to have their tint adjusted using the RGB ACL LEDs. And this means you can correct these fixtures using a spectrometer and the CCT and tint adjustment on the fixtures. We wanted to illustrate this with the Orion 300 and the Orbiter, and as you can see from our test results, doing this allows the lights to produce some amazing light quality. It's very rare to see fixtures that provide spectrometer readings like this, and this is a big reason why RGB ACL tech is so amazing. I do hope that ProLight continues to improve the Orion 300 to make the light more consistent, especially at these two key temperatures, as it is a touch more inconsistent than it could be. However, if you are lucky enough to have access to a spectrometer, you could create a corrected percentage preset for each color temperature you use often, or just check your light every time you use it and change it on set. Right, let's take a look at some more creative examples. For these tests, we included all the fixtures we mentioned earlier, and we shot them with our Red Gemini and Otis 85mm, as well as our 100mm Milvus Macro. We shot several different setups to showcase the difference between the lights. We kept the camera settings the exact same across all three different lights, kept the fixture position as close to the same as possible, and also tried to match exposure as closely as we could. We shot a range of different subjects of all three lights. Here's a quick montage of the shots. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. I don't want to go super in depth into the different lighting modes, but I think it's worth taking a quick look at the different modes the light fixture has. You have a CCT mode where the light behaves as a regular bicolor fixture, which honestly is where most people will have the light in for the most part. Hue, saturation and intensity mode, a selection of industry standard gels, source matching, effects which features a range of special effects, and single color where you can dial in the RGB ACL LEDs individually. This is a pretty standard feature set for an RGB light, so no surprises here. You can also create presets by holding down the preset button. This prompt comes up, which you can then save to one of the many presets. This will be great if you want to create a preset you really like for your camera and then save it. There are several ways for you to control the Orion 300. This can be via the onboard control and the power supply, via Bluetooth using the Chromalink app, or via the five pin DMX on the control unit. The fixture comes with everything you need to get started. You get a solid bag, which fits everything in the kit. You get the light head itself, the ballast, which is where the majority of the controls are, a three meter long head cable, which is needed to connect the two, and it feels incredibly sturdy. You then have a clamp for mounting the ballast to a stand. This uses a V-mount. You get a reflector, safety cable, and lastly, the power cable for the ballast, which uses a Nutric locking connector, which is nice. Physically, everything about the light is well built. The head itself is made out of metal, and the ballast is a mix of high quality plastic and metal. The cables are also nice and thick, and the connectors used look and feel high quality. It's definitely built to survive on set. It features a nice lock-off mechanism that even handles our large 120 octa softbox with no trouble. It can also be mounted via a 28mm spigot or junior pin, which is nice depending on what you need. Ballast comes with a clamp like we mentioned earlier for mounting. Here you can obviously control the light. I don't really like the buttons, they're still not perfect and we fed this back to ProLight so hopefully this is something that they can change in later revisions. But it's usable, it's just not perfect. You can also power the light by using two regular V-locks. The light will not power on with a single V-lock, you have to use two. It will then draw from both batteries simultaneously, being able to power the light at 50% off a single battery and having the ability to hot swap batteries without powering down the fixture could have been nice and is hopefully something that ProLight can add further down the line. The Orion 300 features a standard Bowens mount, which means the fixture is incredibly versatile as you can change your modifier to shape the light exactly to what you need. There are so many Bowens mount modifiers on the market now thanks to Aperture. 
So no matter what you want to use, there will be an option for it. Prolite have made some accessories for the Orion 300 and we have a few of them here. The only one we do not have currently is the Fresnel and that'll be arriving soon. When it comes to softboxes, they sell two, a lantern and a dome softbox. These are both quite similar to other modifiers on the market and I can see the softbox being a fairly popular modifier for it. But as we said, the Orion 300 uses a Bowens mount, so you'll be able to pick up whatever modifiers you want. We've put some options down in the description below. Prolite have also made a projection mount that performs really well. It comes with 16 different gobos, which are unfortunately not a standard size, a gobo holder, a four leaf set of blades, and iris to shape your light. You can still use the included gobos with these two, which is nice. It's actually quite an affordable system, and given the quality of the optics, will be a very good accessory if you really want to shape your light. We also use this on our aperture lights and it worked fine. So if you have some existing aperture lights you want to use it with as well, you can. Prolight are a new brand to lighting market, but you can see from the improvements that they have made from the initial round of feedback from working professionals and technicians that have made it into this Mark II version that they are serious about making a name for themselves within the industry. Just some of the improvements that this unit has received from feedback have been improved fan noise and a fan off mode, a redesigned yoke and ratchet for the head which both feel very sturdy now, improves granularity of the knobs when making adjustments and improves software. So if you end up picking up a unit just know that any feedback you provide to either us or Prolite will more than likely make a difference. We are very happy to be exclusive in the UK with Prolite and we will be stocking the light and the accessories which in a post-Covid world where electronic supplies are becoming harder and harder to come by it's nice to have kit available quick. As we mentioned earlier, the unit we have in is the newest version of the fixture and if you pick up a light from us, this is the same version of the unit you will receive. We also have demo units in our Newman House and Brentford locations. So if you'd like to check the light out for yourself, make sure to get in contact to book a demo. The ProLight Orion 300 is in a unique position in the market and that's part of the reason why we decided to buy stock and make them available to our customers. It's one of the best performing lights we've ever looked at and we've tested a lot of lights at this point. It's slightly more expensive than the fixtures with similar output from the likes of Nanlite and Aperture, but if you want much better colour fidelity with all of the other extra features that come with a full colour light, the Orion 300 will be a smart investment. It will be at home on smaller sets with lighter crew needing a flexible fixture all the way up to larger sets working with full DMX solutions. Let us know what you think of the ProLite Orion 300 down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for all our future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.